What's up, everybody? It's Coach Suho with the Greater Richmond Fit for Kids here to introduce to you an adding and subtracting decimals activity. This is an exercise the answer activity with some dance breaks sprinkled in to keep things interesting. Since it's an exercise the answer activity, it has three main steps to each problem. One, you need to think about your answer. In fact, for this activity, your teacher may even ask you to write down your answer on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard. Once you have your answer ready, then you're going to tap your head. And then finally, once the teacher sees enough people are tapping the brain, they will say to exercise your answer and you will do the move that matches your answer. You will have a movement slide like this. The main difference when you do the activity is that they will actually be moving to show you how to do the move. These are in here so that you can practice doing arm circles and sky reaches and cross crawls so that you have you know what kind of space you're going to need for this activity. And that way you can move before you get into things so that you have plenty of space to move your body in. Now, the way that most of your problems are going to be set up is like this. At the very top, top, it'll remind you, first, you need to think about it. In this case, you need to do some calculations to come up with your answer. Then you need to tap your brain when your answer is ready. And then finally, when the teacher says, you do the move that matches your answer. So, of course, up here at the top, we have... Uh, the problem that you're supposed to be working out. You'll notice it's a subtraction problem. And then down at the bottom, you have an answer choice with a movement underneath it. Remember that when you're doing this activity, these moves underneath will be showing you how to do the activity. So again, you have one of your answer choices and the move that goes with it. And then finally, your last answer choice and the last move that goes with it. Again, think about it, tap your brain, and then you'll do the move that matches your answer. You will also come across slides like this. This is a dance break slide. What I like to do is I like to choose a student or a group of students, or if the class is totally knocking it out of the park, then I'll let the whole class vote on which song we're going to listen to. If they want song one, they'll hold up one finger. If they want song two, they'll hold up two fingers. Once the votes are counted, the teacher will click on the song that has the most votes and the students will begin moving. Now, you may choose to do the movement that's over here, in this case, Wacky Jacks, or you may choose to have a dance party. My most important thing to say for this section is make sure that you stay in your own space and make sure that you stay on your feet. The final type of slide that you will see in this activity is a cool down slide at the very end. You'll have a seat in your regular chairs, then you will do either a mummy or a pretzel. While you're doing this, you'll breathe in nice and slow so that you can get your heart rate back down to its normal resting rate. Hopefully you've had a good time during this introduction and I hope the activity goes smoothly for you. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.